Hey campers, welcome back to Arts and Crafts at Special Session. Today we are going to do what is called a dirty pour. So what we've done is we have taken our colors, our acrylic colors, and we have mixed them with a little bit of glue that we are calling our medium. Any kind of glue will do. You can use Elmer's. Any kind of white glue will do. And we have taken these colors and we have a really pretty yellow, cerulean blue, a darker, more royal blue, and a light kind of lime color. And we have mixed it two parts paint to one part of the glue. Okay, and then we added some water to make sure that it ran like in, instead of doing a drip, drip, drip. After we did that, we then added a little oil. You can use mineral oil, you can use pretty much any kind of oil. This is a silicone oil and it's kind of the best oil to use but if you don't have silicone oil use the mineral oil and mineral oil you can find just about anywhere um, you can also use um, like dawn dishwashing detergent or alcohol the problem with the alcohol is that it just kind of evaporates fast and after you've mixed your paint and your glue you want to just stir a little bit with the silicone because you don't want to stir it all in because you want to have these lovely cells or bubbles or round scales whatever you want to call them in on your artwork so this is very simple and it also is very beautiful and it creates really unique art so I also have uh, mixed up a white and let me get a and I'm going to stir my white a little bit make sure that it's runny I'm and if it's a if it's too thick just add a little bit of water to it and thin it down so I think what I'm going to start with is we are going to start layering our colors so I'm going to take my cup right here and I'm going to start with putting make sure it's all mixed up I'm going to make start by putting a little bit of white just a little bit you don't want too much then I'm going to put a little bit of my blue. Just pour it really easy because you don't want it to mix. It's called a dirty pour. Then I think I'm going to put a little bit of my yellow. Just a little bit of yellow in there. And some of my cerulean blue. Put a little bit of that blue in there just a little bit at a time we're going to also do some green I decided to use these colors today so that we'd have something that was light and airy and fun and not not so dark so this is going to be very tropical just keep layering your colors in there and colors you may want to wear gloves when doing this because you will get paint on you I promise you'll get paint on you so you want to you want to do some gloves and you also want to be careful and take care of your clothes so when you do this make sure that you do it over newspaper I've actually taken a uh, kind of a Rubbermaid kind of plastic tub and put 
newspaper in the bottom and I have my canvas sitting on sticks. So I'm just putting a little bit at a time of all my different colors like that. And you can see they're starting to make little bubbles and and things. So anyway, doing good. Okay. A little bit more of the dark blue. A little bit more green. And each one of these colors has a different kind of weight, a viscosity. It's a liquidiness, which makes it kind of keep separate from the other colors. And a little bit more of this nice dark blue. So this should be a very tropical, cool, refreshing look. So we're gonna set our cups off to the side. There we go. And then I'm gonna take my canvas and I'm going to put my canvas on top of my cup and my hand there and then I'm just going to set it down and then what we're going to do is we're going to lift our cup up like that okay wow that's some pretty colors isn't it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my colors go to the corners so there's one corner, another corner, another corner. We're gonna keep moving it around till we get it to all the different corners. Now it's gonna be just it's gonna be fine to let this run off the edges. Because you do want the sides to be painted too. So we're going to let it run a little bit off that side, off that little corner right there. And then I'm gonna bring it down here and let it run off this side. There we go. And let it run off a little bit. And down this side. Then we're going to go all the way down this side. And then it's going to do its magic. So I'm going to turn it around here like this and bring it down here so that you can see how I'm letting it just run off the corners. And as I do this, the paint is kind of flowing and it's creating patterns. And now we want to get down to this last corner right here. And that pesky little corner, come on, come on. Okay. Then I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to take my hands and kind of help it a little bit along the sides so we get the sides all covered. There. And it just and it just starts doing all kinds of little things. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and, and just touch around. I've got paint on my gloves, so I'm using that paint to make sure that I get my sides done. 
That way, when you go to hang it up, it has it's it's finished. See, we want to try to do this also, and I'm going to just kind of, and it's going to continue to run down, and it's going to create its own little patterns on the side too. So I'm just taking it around, making sure that we have a paint on all of it. There we go. I want to make sure that we've covered it all. Turn it again. I love this blue. Look at how my spots. Look at my spots on my blue. I think I've got it all the way around. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to rinse off my gloves like so and hang them up to dry. And I'm going to take a blow dryer and we're going to move the paint around. going to just see how it it changes and it bubbles and as it as the oil kind of pushes the colors up and it become it you get these beautiful areas like this and I'm I'm loving this area right here but it almost looks like a, a map it looks like outer space. You've got the oceans in here and the and the islands and very pretty. So we're just gonna like give it time to develop and it's going to keep changing as it dries and it's, you're just gonna have this beautiful piece of original artwork that you'll never see anybody else do. So I'm just gonna take the camera and I'm going to take you down to see some of these beautiful areas. Look at the look at how the green's popping up there. And it just there we go. And I really really like how it's turning out. And let's go up here and look at these. Okay. I hope you had fun with this. You can do any color you want. Try not to overwork the colors because then you'll turn out with something that's just kind of muddy. And you can have lots of fun with it with all different colors. You can use reds and purples and, and all different things. So anyway, I hope you had fun today. And this is called a dirty pour. Okay, campers, until our next project. And I see you in Arts and Crafts again. Have a wonderful afternoon and take care of yourselves and please be safe. Bye.